watching simplify your concept hello everyone today i'm starting with another topic that is three phase induction motor and this is the first part of the video let's see what are the topics that i will discuss in this unit so first the introduction followed by the applications of induction motor then what are the characteristics features of the induction motor because of which they are widely used then we will see the construction of three phase induction motor followed by the working principle of it then we will see a very important concept that is the generation of rotating magnetic field which is also called in short rmf and then we will see what is slip and what is its significance in case of induction motor and finally we will see what is starter and why do we need a starter followed by the star delta starter so let's start with the introduction so an induction motor also commonly known as asynchronous motor and it is also known as an ac electric motor so here the meaning of asynchronous motor is that the induction motors do not run at synchronous speed we know what is synchronous speed that is given by 120 f by p so the induction motor always runs at a speed which is less than synchronous speed that is why they are also called as asynchronous motors and they are widely used in industries commercial areas as well as in domestic applications so 90% of the industrial motors are of induction type and a great scientist kola tesla is the inventor of this wonderful machine a very important or i would say a very interesting fact about an induction motor is that induction motors are also called as rotating transformers why they are called as rotating transformers see in case of transformers we know that how the emf is induced they are induced through the principle of mutual induction or i would say just induction principle so in case of induction motor also since we have stator that is the stationary part and we have rotor which is the rotating part of the synchro uh, induction motor so here also the voltage or i would say the current that are induced in the rotor is the is through induction principle here we do not give any excitation to the rotor or to the field winding here the voltage or the current which is required in order to produce the torque is directly induced from the stator winding by the principle of induction so that is why the induction motors are also called as rotating transformer since they are rotating in nature now let's see what are the different applications of induction motor as i told that these are the most widely used machine in the industries and they have enormous applications to name a few i have mentioned here the few applications like for example they are used in electric train engines to drive the engines in the electric train we use three phase induction motor similarly they can also be used for cooling fans that are used to cool large machine so as you can see here here the cooling fans are being used in case of a transformer and these cooling fans are being run with the help of three phase induction motor there is another application where they are used in chimneys at the power plants and we know the function of chimneys they are basically to exhaust or to remove the unwanted or poisonous gases and fumes from the power plants and that is being also done with the help of induction motor a very familiar application is in the case of printing machines so here also the printing machines are being run with the help of three phase induction motor as well as they are used in rolling mills they can also be used for large capacity exhaust fans now you can see here these are the exhaust fans which is generally being used in industries to remove the unwanted gases and here also induction motors are used then this you might have seen the cranes which are being used to lift equipments and here also these cranes are being operated with the help of three phase induction motor hoists this we generally see near the construction areas and these are also being operated by the three phase induction motor 
A very common example is the lifts or the elevators, which we often come across in apartments, in malls, and in many other places. So they are also being operated or run through the three-phase induction motor. So these are few applications which I have mentioned, but there are other n number of applications of three-phase induction motor. Now, since I'm telling that the applications of induction motors are enormous, there should be some reason behind that. So what are the special characteristic features of induction motors which make it a vital important electrical equipment or electrical machine that is being used so widely? So talking about its features or I can also say these are its advantages. So if the construction of induction motor is very simple as well as it is very rugged. Rugged means that it is almost unbreakable. Once it is manufactured, it has a life, long life and it is unbreakable in nature, as well as it has low cost and minimum maintenance. We do not need to replace an induction motor very often. Once it is being used for a given application, then it does not need more maintenance. Say, for example, if I talk about a crane, then once you are using a crane, you don't replace the induction motor often it is be it has a life long of 15 to 20 years and the maintenance is also very very minimal they are very efficient so efficiency of an induction motor could be around 85 percent or so and they also have good power factor under nominal load condition if the load increases then definitely the power factor also goes down so if you want to understand the concept of power factor please check my another video, the link of which I have given in the description box or also you can check the I button. The induction motor does not need to be synchronized as I told that they don't operate or they don't run at synchronous speed. They run at a speed which is less than synchronous speed. So they do not have to be synchronized. And three-phase induction motors are self-starting in nature. They have a self-starting torque. Whereas in case of single phase induction motor, they are not self-starting. We need to use starters. So these are some of the advantages or some of the characteristic features of induction motor. And, and the remaining topics I will discuss in the other parts of the video. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next session.